Hey guys, today we're here at UCSD and we're going to be free skating with Rosie. Hi, I'm a fourth year here on campus. We're going to go to some of my classes and then cruise around campus and grab a bite to eat. Let's go. So when I'm here for like only a couple hours, I'll uh, park and then I'll skate to class. It's on your shorter days? On my shorter days, yeah. Start of the commute. Start of the commute. And we get a fun little hill. Watch out for the bump though. I watch out for the cracks and bumps. Makes you into a better skater. <laughs> no, seriously, riding around on hills and b bumps and cracks on campuses will literally level, level up your skating. Oh yeah. Yeah, this campus is a skater's paradise. We'll have to say the one thing is, there is a lot of hills where there's only like good stairs and not really good hills to skate down. So you definitely have to learn your routes. Yeah? Yeah. Me and Gabe have skated here maybe two or three times now and we just go along the main routes that we know, but I am excited to see if you have any secret student routes that we have not encountered like we don't I don't think we skated wait did we skate here I forget I don't know but yeah this campus is just so big that you almost can't even skate it all in one day or two days you know it takes a week it would definitely take you a little bit to do that like offices over here, classrooms. A lot of the classrooms are actually on a story below this. Oh, There's really? a lot of underground classrooms over here. Freestyle with these. <laughs> And then this right here is my first class of the day. That's a fun skate. Right? It's like not like you you, were, you wouldn't be sweaty by the time you get here. But no. it's like the perfect amount of fun. A little workout, a little hill, a little weaving. All right. Um, and now we're just going to go the way up that we just came down. Going to class number two. bumpy terrain here. You can avoid them. Yeah. It's not bad though. No. How many students while you're skating around have asked you and like tried? Okay. Out of your like three years having used them commuting like maybe you don't have time on some days but like out of all the times how many times have people like came up to you? Um, 
So I wear glasses and headphones when I free skate around campus. Because you, you're so annoyed by how many people have? Well, I'm normally in a rush and I just don't really want to talk about it. But uh, Like first year, I, how many people? I've definitely had probably like a handful every year, but yeah. only like two people were to had try like on canvas. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm pretty like patient with people. I do let a lot of people try, but that's just because I'm obsessed with it and I always have free time. Number two. Class number two. We've made it. I just realized how cool these leading lines are on the pillars. I've always wondered like if you showed them to like a physics teacher or whatever, like what they would like, you know, they'd be like, whoa, that's really cool. Like the trajectory, you know. Like. Yeah, so I'm, a, I'm like a that. social science major. I'm in human developmental sciences. Yeah, so. I don't think I've ever asked you besides like the initial, like what are you going to school for? What yeah. your actual like classes are. So I mostly am like doing stuff in psychology and um, sociology. Yeah, so it's really interesting. Super scenic. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's nice when like the sun starts setting. Yeah, golden hour right here would uh -huh. be crazy. All the trees in the background. And, exactly. Yeah. And then we're gonna make another quick turn around this loop. Ah! <laughs> I had to do a trick. He said, whoa. It's cool to actually uh, just be down here with more free skaters like you and Gabe. Yeah, having a community definitely, definitely helped me continue with them. Just like going to the Thursday meetups, going to Free Skate Fridays, having like close friends also learning at the same time. Always better together. Fog rolling in. I know, it's cool, isn't it? That's cool.
Plant power, fast food? Plant power, fast food on campus. Why I like them on campus so much is they're, they're like super small and I can pick them up whenever I need. I can put them under my feet and any class, I can throw them in my backpack. There's definitely been a lot of people who are um, like, they'll try them and they'll like get them first time, you know? It's insane. Once I bought my own pair, that's when like my growth really accelerated. And then also like my thing that I did was I would need to go somewhere and then I would have to drive but I would like consciously park further and further from the area I needed to go every single time and I would just skate there. And you know, like initially I would have to stop or like I would trip up every like couple of feet, but by the end of it, like it really, I think it really improved my skating, like my flow, my endurance, definitely. And then I also like on break, since I work right on the boardwalk, I would just, I have an hour and I would just go sprint it, see how long, I, how far I can get and how far back. I'm like, okay, I have to do this. Let's do the fun version of it. And when people are like, oh, that looks impossible. I'm like, it's not impossible. It's just, it's just something you work towards like anything else. That is a fun skate. Final question. Final question. What is your favorite part about using free skates on college campus? Um, how portable they are. I can just like put them underneath my seat wherever I am, or I can uh, sort of toss them in my backpack. Portability. Portability. That was how I incorporate these little things into my day-to-day -day life to make it that much better. If you want to watch another free skating video, click on Jack's face.